have reached rest grace with rwgresearch.com. Open dash source dash energy. Video series RWG OSD Oversized Delta. What's up, everybody? This is part B. If you have not seen part A, you're gonna go watch it right now. Stop. Because if you don't, you're gonna be lost. Let's go. Can't get my finger around. Oh, where you are? There you are. See what I'm saying? Focus. I can't figure it out. Okay, so I do indeed want to put that little shim between there. The only thing I have, these are some M5 washers and they're small enough to where they don't hit the edge the brim or the uh, actual outside race of the bearing just inside of that and they fit really nice so I'm going to use them so what I'm doing here is I am going to actually put these right inside of that tiny little groove that I just explained to you and showed you about I'm going to put that in there come on Is it in? Still not in. There. So that's crimped in there. That's chucked pretty darn good. Now I'm just going to take a quarter inch bit and drill it out. Change my mind. I'm going to use a 16. I'm going to use a 1560 forts. It like perfectly fits on here. So should fit on there and be a little bit more tighter in tolerance. That's precision. Almost doesn't fit on there, so we will clean the the burrs up, and that's perfect. Do the rest of them. All right, I'm gonna attempt to take my deburring tool. And just butter up that edge. It's a pretty, it's a pretty hard thing to hold on to. Kind of worked, a bit hard to hold. Now, I'm also going to clean up that lip inside there. I'm trying to use my deburring tool, and that's working all right. I was going to use these bits, so let's try that. You remember these, these work pretty well. Let's try that. The only thing I got out here is the big drill, but we'll try it. The reason they did the deburring tool doesn't work very well is I can't get in there. That bit almost takes off too much of an angle. It's almost dull. I need to buy some new ones. All right, I got those cleaned up. I actually used the deburring tool around most of it, and then my pocket knife on the last edge, right on that inside. Just make sure it was flush. So if you take the knife. And you run it this way, and you can make sure it's flush. The reason I want it flush is because I know that I milled this square, or this direction, flush. So I'm going to be tightening everything against this edge, and I really need it to be flush. Now, I was going to deburr all of the edges here with the deburring tool. And the more and more I look at this, the more and more I kind of like that really nice sharp square edge. It's not sharp won't cut you could if you hit it wrong but I, I just I don't know what it is about that square but I like it so I think I'm gonna feel around and make sure there's not an actual sharp edge like right there there's a there's a tiny little sharp edge so now we can just butter that off like that but uh, I think I'm gonna leave these square I'm not gonna clean them up otherwise you don't really take this tool it would make this all beautiful but I kind of like it that way all right, 
two bearings and a washer between the aluminum and the end. That is better. I left one millimeter right there. I know that it's not going to be able to focus, but I left one millimeter um, right down the center, so that's perfect. So now when I'm pulling, okay, when I'm pulling here, the force is directly above the center of the belt. Okay, so it looks offset down here, but that's actually for a very good purpose. So you want the, the stress to be square with the pulley. So there's the, there's the tensioner. Now we have to make the plastic part, and then I'll show you how all this stuff works down here. Woohoo! All right. Well, there you go. So really, really quickly, I wanted to tell you why I didn't use a piece of shafting here. So I was going to originally put a shaft here and then a set screw from either the side or the top or just wherever so that I would set the shaft in place. Then I could make the profile of the head even smaller, which was my original plan. However, um, if you thread it and then you know that the edge is square because you machine it, right? You machine this edge right here, which is square. Then whenever you tighten this bolt down, it has a little bit of play. Okay, it's not perfect. All right, if you can, if you, I have no idea if you can actually see that, but there is some play there, even in this bolt that's this far in. So, because this is square and you're pulling everything flush against it, um, that was going to work just peachy. And actually, I'm glad I did it because I don't have much material here for a set screw. Not much at all. Perfect. Looks kind of funky because it's so square, but I like it. Yep, I'm in my bedroom, in the closet, I got kicked out of the living area, no, just kidding, but that's where I got this thing stored at the moment, so check it out, these are done, and they are supposed to go down here in the bottom, and then they'll be attached to the bottom that's down here, however, I sort of made a mistake. You know, I'm not perfect by any means. This was made in a very short amount of time. It's supposed to go through this hole, and it doesn't. It's close, but not quite there. So, we have to basically machine the whole back side of this off, which is fine. But, that sucks. I'll machine the whole thing off just enough to get it through, and then I'll cut the corners down here so we still got some meat on there. Yeah. That's what happens when you don't really plan it out. I did not draw this up in SketchUp because I wanted to rush through it and get it done. And I got it done. <laughs> but it's not right. Oh well. Okay, because I really always wanted to try this and never really had a good reason to do it, and I'm not at work, I am going to try to mill on the lathe. So, I've got the mini lathe, I've got a mill end cutter, I've got the piece I want to cut in the stock holder, where you normally put the tool, and we're going to try to do this. I just want to take this edge off. I'm going to clean it up later. I just want to see if this is going to work. So, wish me luck. Make sure it's spinning the right way.
we maxed it out. We went as far as we could go. Interesting. It's like perfect. I almost want to finish the whole thing and just go all the way down. I think I'm going to try that. I'm going to just loosen this up. It's okay if it's not perfect. I'm going to go all the way down. About there. I'm going to see if it'll keep going. to the end not quite that's pretty cool and this cuts really well totally impressed right now I know I had to move it several times but check that out temporarily if you really had to do something to get by check it out let's do the other ones that's too cool I don't mean, there's no reason why it wouldn't work, I'm just saying I've never tried it. So, we can always clean these up later, but freaking awesome. Now, we're going to time lapse. Oh, this is the wrong spot. I'm not going to time lapse. I'm supposed to be recording for a different section, so now I'm just talking mumbo jumbo. Anything? La, 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 la. Okay. Aha! Looky, looky. That's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to maximize which means it's literally going to hit if it goes to zero, zero, zero in the Z. Most of the time this actually won't ever even be a problem, but when the belt does want to go up the arm, it can actually maximize. Cool, huh? Now we got to finish the bottom. Freaking sweet, man. Now we're going to time lapse. So I wanted to show you really quickly those brackets and how they sort of work. They're just 3D printed. Uh, seems like it works good. One set screw, which I don't mention in the next clips. So one set screw, and then uh, I'm going to show you how the rest of it is assembled. Uh, this is ABS. Probably nylon would be better. I may even print all these other things in nylon. These are kind of just test pieces. Hey, kid, what are you doing? Okay, what's up everybody? So this is a totally different day. Um, these are hard to see, aren't they? So, poor lighting once again. It's what you get when you work out of your kitchen, dining room, whatever it is, your house. Hold on, let me stabilize this. There we go. So look, this is the belt tensioners. This is, well, 
completely set up actually but basically I just want to show you what I did here so the bottom of the bolt has a round head on it so it can spin within this plastic piece that I 3d printed then I jammed two nuts together because I wanted to actually make a way to take a wrench and wrench this thing so this is how I turn it and then this is a locking nut so you tighten this into this and now it won't move so you can see those belts fit really nicely I mean they're like perfect if I move this arm you can see they're like perfect and then if you bring this thing remember I told you I had really tight tolerances well, check it out this is this is how how they fit a little bit better lighting than the closet well, than the closet shot. So let me get on this side. I'll get up here, I guess maybe. So you can see that they go all the way through there, and they literally hit the screws, and that's at vertical or horizontal, I guess I should say. So if my hot end's there, I can reach a maximum almost out to the end of my bed. Yeah, I'm giving you a little preview. All right, I decided I'm going to go ahead. I'll show you how I take this apart. So, this is a bit hard to do because I got the bed in place, but basically, I don't have a wrench with me. So, this one is the tightener, and then I can pull down on the belt, turn this by hand. I don't even need this. Now, oh, these are super silly extra long. Okay, there we go. And then the top, you can actually slip this belt out. There's just enough room. So, just enough room between the uh, bearing and the aluminum part. So, you can see what I was saying earlier. This turns. Okay, that's because it's just a regular round head at the bottom. So, anyway, the only other thing I need to add is a locking nut on the bottom so that this whole thing doesn't turn. And that's it. I done. Yeah, you get the idea. And then once you get it where you want it, you can tighten this one on there, and then it won't move anymore. That keeps the uh, screw locked. So, anyway... Next video we'll work on the rod arms and then we'll move on to the, the bed and I'll show you what I did there. One day at a time. One day hey you got anything to say? <laughs> You're so funny. You're so funny. You're so funny. You're so funny. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. High fives. Look at this. High five. Hey, high five. Knuckles. Thumbs up. Headbutt. Boom! Say bye. Bye.